which I'm a little bit worried about, but we do have a little bit of protection. Oh God! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh! Oh no! Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Wreckfest! In yesterday's video, we kind of checked out the new updates to the game, including the new vehicles, the Mud Digger and the Rocket. You guys love the Mud Digger and you guys want me to use it as my main car, which I will, but in today's episode, I want to take a closer look at the Rocket, the Ford Mustang looking car. Some of you even said, how did they not get copyrighted for that thing? Because it literally looks exactly like a Ford Mustang. You know what? I kind of agree with you, but I'm not going to argue because I love this thing. I've been driving it around for the last couple of hours and I just freaking love this thing. And I've actually saved up a little bit of money. So we're going to go ahead and trick this whip just a little bit. So uh, I believe we can't afford a new engine. Yes, we can. Only 6,500 clams. Not too bad, but it should give us a little bit more power, which this thing desperately needs because, honestly, if we're being real here, it's pretty dang slow. So, we can't afford the race engine yet, or we haven't unlocked it yet, but we do have the sports engine now, and I believe we can get some other stuff too. I don't know how much this is going to actually help us, but all these parts are pretty cheap, so I'm just going to buy everything that we can get. So, do we want the sports radiator or the street? Obviously, the sport. We can't get the racing yet because I guess we need to do stuff to unlock those. Not sure how I unlock them. But, oh yeah, we're B-class now. That means we're making progress. Let's get a new intake manifold as well. 750 bucks, cl clams, credits, whatever you want to call them. Get a new fuel system up in here. Oh, ooh, that's a lot of money. Okay, we still have 4,000 left. It's fine. It's fine. This is only 375. Some of the stuff is expensive. Some is not. So we can get a new exhaust. Is that going to make us sound a little bit more meatier? A little bit more like a uh, Mustang? You know I mean... Let's be real here. It's a freaking Mustang. So we need to get all the Mustang parts. <laughs> I guess. New camshaft. Yeah, sure. Why not? How come I could, I don't have the uh, sports? I have all I have all the other sports parts unlocked. What the deuce? Anyway, can we get new pistons? No, we can't get this. Okay, well, we can get street pistons. Whatever. I'll just waste all my money on this. So, yeah. Pretty powerful car now. Well, I mean, it's a B class at least. So can we do anything else to this though? Uh, Customized. Can we like... Can I get new new parts for this? Can I get new wheels? No. No. Ooh. We can get a push bar. I kind of want a push bar. Look, yeah! Oh, yeah! Beautiful! That could help us push these plebs out of the way in the middle of a heated race. Can we get one on the back, too? Of course we can. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but, you know, it doesn't look terrible. Can we get a new exhaust? No. Can we get a new hood? No. Rear spoiler? No. Roll cage? No. Front fender? No. Rear fender? No. Grill? No. Side protector? Yeah, we can get those. I don't know how much they help us, but uh, I can put them on there. So I'll, I'll buy some of those. Window bar? Yes. What's this? Oh, oh, no. I like the, uh, where's the mesh one? Yeah, I like that. I don't know why. It just looks tougher. It looks like this thing is go about to go into the heat of battle in the Mad Max universe or something. Is that, can I get anything else? No. So this is the completely customized Neomobile, or as, as much as we can customize it right now but you know they are, they are adding stuff all the freaking time so hopefully we can trick this thing out even more because i really really do love this car so with that let's go ahead and do some racing shall we so we're gonna go to sand pit three because this is this is an amazing course it's an amazing it has something <laughs> that a lot of other racetracks in this game don't have that i'm a little bit scared of but you guys will see when we get here so with that let's do this and we're going to go ahead and set, no, not lawnmowers. We're going to go to class B. So we're, we're fighting with people, our own, uh, our own difficulty here. I don't want to just destroy all these plebs. I want them to be on my level. So I have to fight a little bit. All right, here we go. We have, uh, we have crowds now that actually make noise. They're not just sitting there silently. Uh, so yeah, that's a little, they don't look bad either. Those are pretty, well, there's two twins right there. I'm not sure if that's, if that's intentional or not, but yeah, it looks good. Oh, my voice is cracking. I've been recording too many freaking videos and automatically I can already tell this thing is a little bit faster, but it also feels a little bit heavier. Oh God. Whoa. Careful. <laughs> a push bar, baby. No damage on the front of us. Oh yeah. Okay. That was a good investment. What that thing cost like 250 bucks. I'd say it was well worth it. Well, you know what? Really for being honest here, how much would a piece of steel cost? Like you could just go to the junkyard and probably get one for free, but 
250 in this game at least is not a lot of money. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. We're fine. We're fine. Can you get out of my way, question mark guy? Thank you very much. I just freaking pushed that guy <laughs> straight off the track. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, ninth place. Uh, we can do this. We got three laps. This is going to be a quite a long race because, like, uh, this is actually a pretty long track. So, we have a lot of time. I'm just going to run into... I'm not going to... Anybody else use that technique when they're playing racing games? I know it's not the best way, but your method of slowing down for the turn is just running into somebody else. And then that slows you down and you can just overtake them. It's... it's uh, if we're being honest here, it's a douchebag way to win a race, but I, I'm gonna, you're going to see me do it probably multiple times during this race. It, it just works so well, dang it. Okay, 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 big turn, big turn. Oh, this thing is definitely a little bit heavier, though, with all this metal on it. So that is something we got to keep in mind, but I'm sure I'm not as heavy as this guy. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, should I feel bad about that? Probably. Do I feel bad about that? No. No, not at all. So as you can see, there is a uh, crossroads on this map. So there's a pretty high possibility that we are going to get smashed, obliterated, destroyed, uh, just crossing. Oh, God. It almost happened there. Oh, okay. Okay. Careful. <laughs> it's so nerve wracking, man. I can't even, I can't even tell you how nerve wracking it is, especially when you're in like first place or in my case, third place where one slip up like that could spell disaster and you getting last place and thus no money meaning that you wasted your time so that's what i'm kind of scared about right now but uh, that's what we do on neological channel we take risks and like this whoop Ugh. yeah there we go that's how you take first place right there you slam into the side of his car and hope it does more damage to him than it does to you i mean it's a solid plan really all right, so for the time being, we are in first place, but like I said, there are those cross, there is those uh, intersections, which I'm a little bit worried about, but we do have a little bit of protection. Oh God, whoa, whoa, no. Oh no, I took my eyes off the road for two seconds. You're kidding me. Well, our protective bar is gone. It literally fell off. That was, a, that was a misjudgment on my side. I apologize. That is super duper embarrassing. But we still have a whole lap to make it back up. Are we going to? Probably not. But I'm going to try my darndest. We just got to not make stupid mistakes like that. And we might have a chance to win. Good God. I'm at critical damage. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. There we go. Can we get to first place? Yes. Okay, the intersection actually worked in my favor right there. So we only got one more of these plebs to overtake, and we're going to be good. I just got to be very careful because we are sitting at 17% health right now, which uh, basically means one more good hit, and I'm a goner. So Spitfire, I'm sorry, but I'm going to need to overtake it. There we go. That's how we do it. Nope. Nope. My car's on fire. No, you're not going to pass me. You're not going to take this from me. I need that first place because I, sh I should get like uh, 2,000 uh, credits for winning this. I think so. I think that's what you get for, for winning on this race. I could be wrong though. But uh, 2,000 credits will get us a long way. And I want to unlock stuff for this car. And you can't really do that if you don't win. You know what I mean? All right, final turn. Let's not mess this up. Oh, beautiful drift. Nobody's okay. Shadow Fang, you're not going to take this from me. I think I'm faster than you anyway. There we go. Oh, okay, a little bit of a crazy race, mostly because of stupid stuff I did, but, um, yeah, we still won, and we were kind of lower than most other people. We have a B-166 rank, and the second place guy had 181, so I think we did pretty good. Oh, yeah, 2,520 credits. That is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. I might actually, I wish I could, oh, God, <laughs> I wish I could buy more parts for this, but... I guess not. Maybe you have to do the career mode to do that, which we will do in another video. Don't you worry. So I'm starting to think this car might be actually a little bit better on the road. So let's try the Tarmac 3, a high-speed road course in a beautiful Nordic setting that's technically not too demanding and offers plenty of opportunities for overtaking. That sounds like mm, beautiful to me. So let's go ahead and do it. Alrighty, here we go. So hopefully the old Mustang, or the rocket, 
will be a little bit better on the road. I mean, we were doing pretty good on the gravel, but um, I feel like I should have been winning a whole lot faster. Yeah, like this. Here we go. This is the kind of, oh, this is a tight track. Uh-oh. Okay, a lot of people, congestions are happening. Just play it to save, there we go. Just a little bumping and grinding, no problem there. So we just gotta keep it, yep. Okay, so this is like a proper racetrack. Well, I mean, kind of, it has like the lines and stuff, so we should be good. And it feels like this thing actually hand handles quite a bit better on the road when I'm actually on it. So let's just go ahead and drift. And, okay, careful, it is pretty easy to overtake. Ugh, get out of here, man. I knocked one of your, I knocked one of your fenders loose. I'm sorry, not really. I'm not sorry at all. Yes! Oh, God! <laughs> massive, massive collision. Let's do it again. Oh, beautiful. I did, that, what was he driving, a, a family vanster? I just completely smashed in the back of his car. That was beautiful, and our roll bar is a little bit bent out of shape, but for the most part, the front of our car is looking good. So it actually did its job, which is nice, because I remember when that stuff literally did nothing. It actually does stuff now. It actually protects you. But there was a point in time where it was purely cosmetic, and it just it just, it just looked cool, I guess. That was about it. Oh! <laughs> Push that guy into the sign. I hope he has to pay for it, not me, though. Like, who in the right mind would let all these redneck dudes just race on their track, destroy everything that could possibly be hit on the track. I don't know, it just doesn't sound like a good deal to me, but uh, we're in Norway, so maybe that they're just cool with that, I'm not really sure. Anyway, Thrakis, that's a weird name. We need to pass you, dude, I know you got that all-American muscle, but so do I, and I believe I'm a little bit more nimble than you, so I'm just gonna have to go ahead and pit maneuver you, thank you, get out of my way. <laughs> Now I want to do multiplayer on this game so bad. Me and Komodo were actually talking about uh, doing a couple multiplayer videos of this. So is that something that you guys would like to see? Because if it is, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button as well. If you're still watching this video, that is. Yeah. Uh, come on. There we go. Beautiful drift. I, it feels like I can never come out of, of a drift going fast. It's always super slow. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I'm not really sure. If anybody knows how to actually drift and come out of turns, going faster than when you came in. Uh, yeah, let me know, hit me up. Let's get a little bit of a first person in here. Holy crap, this wheel is huge. My God, that's like a trucker wheel. Not sure what that's about, but, oh, here we go. Yes, nice turn, that was actually pretty good. Let's drift again, uh, there we go. There we go, anybody behind me? No, we're, we're miles ahead. This is an easy race, man. I wonder how good this thing is at demolition derby, so we might have to try one real quick. Oh, nice line, nice line, debris littering the, the racetrack, but you know, that's okay. Maybe they have like a whole team just dedicated to cleaning up the aftermath. That would be a huge pain. That would take forever, but I guess somebody's got to do it. Who's the guy, the guys who have to clean up after there's a huge wreck at Talladega? Like, who gets to do that job? I'm sure that's a lot of fun, huh? And you got to do it fast. That's, I don't know, it just seems like a crazy, crazy job. Anyway, we won. How much money are we getting, man? Come on, 2,290 credits, not bad at all. And we unlocked the heavy window A bar. Huh. Is it for my car though? The mod update said that it makes it so you unlock stuff for the, your car, so let's check it out. Uh, window bars, light A bar, heavy A bar. Oh yeah, look at that, we got new stuff now. I'll take some of that. Is that like, what's it, what's it do though? Does it do anything? Well, I guess the heavy one does something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it anyway. I have like no window now, but I guess if we like flip over it, just, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it does, but uh, I guess it took down our strength. I don't know. It, you can see the stuff it's affecting at the bottom, but oh well. well, well, we'll leave it on and we're gonna do demolition derby anyway. So I think we could probably use the extra beefiness. You know what I mean? All righty, so. We got a demolition derby on our hands, boys. I, I I think I have pretty good chances here. This is a very heavily modified uh, Ford Mustang, or Rocket, sorry. And it has a lot of protection on it. Hopefully that'll actually help us out. But I guess we'll have to see. Ooh, ooh, yeah. There we go. Not too much damage from that. Uh, I don't know how much damage I did. But, uh, okay, let's see what we can do here. Ow, 
Let's see, ow. Let's see, ow. Come on. Let me get some speed up, man. I'm already down 30 points. You're kidding me right now. How about Coco Shells? Hello, Choco Shells. <laughs> get my way. Oh, the names in this game are just freaking ridiculous. I love it. And it seems like the uh, difficulty's been ramped up a little bit with this next up update because they're finally finding a balance because originally everything was super hard. It was super hard to win races. It was super hard to win demolition derbies. And then not that long ago, it was super hard or super easy to win everything. And now it just seems like it's normal. It's challenging, but not frustratingly unfairly so. So I think that's good. They're finally finding the balance. And I'm kind of, I'm curious to see where they're gonna go from here. Ow! Oh man, we are really, what? How is my health that low? My car looks fine. Maybe it's the interior, what's under the hood that's really hurting right now. But uh, let's go ahead and use the back end for a minute. See if we can get some damage with this. Boom! Ow! <laughs> Every time I hit somebody, somebody hits me first. It's, it sucks, man. Oh my God. Okay, too many cars for this small of a map. Ow! Ow, ow, radiator blown. Of course it is. Of freaking course it is. This is freaking ridiculous. All right, let's get a little bit of distance here. And we're already at critical damage. That's freaking beautiful. And, oh, boom, what? How did that not take you down? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is a freaking cluster, man. This is a cluster. Hey, kill zone, excuse me. He's trying to hit me. He, he has very low health. What's? I just want. Can I get at least one takedown before I? Somebody ends me, please. Boom! What? That did nothing to him. You're kidding me. You're kidding me right now. Ah! All right. So I got maybe maybe one more good hit in me. So let's not waste it here. How about you? Nope, not you. How about you? Come on. Mm, come on, die! Mm, there we go. What? He has literally no health. Mm, there we go. Okay, I got one takedown. I'm happy now. Somebody in me. I got three points of health. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Twelfth place. That is uh, pretty bad. I got the damage dealer, though. <sighs> yeah, so this car doesn't seem to be very well. It's very good at uh, demolition derbies. That's okay, though. It's a racer, not a demo derbier. I think. All right, guys. So that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode of Wreckfest. This has been the Rocket. Uh, if you guys want to see me main this one instead of the Mud Digger here, uh, let me know down below. Or if you want to see me uh, main the Mud Digger instead of the Rocket, let me know down below as well. So I'll let you guys decide which one's going to be my main bay for the upcoming career mode. So, yeah, let me know down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys. Into the next one. See ya.